from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Good morning, I'm Dia Riley. It is expected to be another hot and humid day with highs in the upper 80s or low 90s. Greg D's full forecast is on ABCActionNews.com and also on our free mobile app. Right now, here are your ABC Action News headlines. Florida Highway Patrol troopers say they arrested a driver after a crash that killed two bicyclists in Tarpon Springs last night. FHP says a car was passing in a no passing zone on Keystone Road. When it nearly hit a car coming the other way, the second driver swerved to avoid a collision but the cars crashed, sending that second car right into a tandem bicycle. Both people on the bicycle died. The driver accused of passing illegally, now charged with DUI manslaughter and vehicular homicide. Today, a CDC panel will decide whether to approve authorization for kids ages 12 to 15 to get Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. But some places, including USF Health, are already vaccinating those teens and tweens after the FDA approved the vaccine for that age group. The Florida Division of Emergency Management says they are ready to begin administering shots as soon as they get word of the panel's decision. When the time comes, 12 to 15 year olds who want to be vaccinated can go with their parents to a state supported vaccine site like the one at Raymond James Stadium. They'll need a signed consent form. And once we learn of the panel's decision, of course, we will send out a push alert through our free mobile app. Florida's governor, meanwhile, declaring a state of emergency due to the Colonial Pipeline shutdown. That hacked pipeline does not serve Florida. The vast majority of our gas comes by sea, but panic buying caused several Tampa gas stations to run out of fuel yesterday. The Seminole Heights Shell Station ran out of gas right before afternoon rush hour yesterday. A Circle K on Kennedy also ran out of gas. Port Tampa Bay says so far the pipeline problem has no impact on their, full, their fuel deliveries. Many are hopeful that Colonial Pipeline will resume operations by the end of the week. Tonight, the Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers will learn who they're going to play on the NFL's opening night. We expect the Bucs to host the league's Thursday night opener on September 9th. Who they are going to play won't be revealed until after 8 o'clock. We know that it will either be Atlanta, Carolina, New Orleans, Chicago, Dallas, the New York Giants, Miami, or Buffalo. Those eight teams are the ones the Bucs will play at Raymond James Stadium this fall. Tampa Bay remains a favorite to return to the Super Bowl in February. Remember, local news is streaming free 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. You'll find that on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. Just search ABC Action News.